Hi there, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I wanted to, uh, on this video, just show you some of the things that we're going to be doing to improve on our processes. Um, I hope that will help you uh, as you try to improve on your Black Soldier Fly production um, and you can sort of go, join us with this journey and sort of understand some of the challenges that we are having. Uh, some of those might be ones that you're doing. As you know, we've got some funding from Gatsby Africa and together with Think Aqua, we're working on implementing some of those changes that we need. This is probably the first thing that we're going to improve. Um, just zoom out a bit. So basically, we currently we, we have um, substrate collected. So there's some, this one I think is full of uh, what's called green waste. So that's um, when cattle are slaughtered or other animals, the inside, you don't, the, their offals, the inside of their stomachs is full of um, undigested feed. Uh, with cows, that's grass um, and things like of that nature. That's very nutritious, um, but it's a waste. And so we actually got a contract with a local uh, butcher from the, from the government, actually, and we collect that. So that's full of green waste. Um, and then these are a mixture of different things. Um, see if I can open one of them for you. You can have a quick look. Now, this is Matoki. So this is traditionally what's eaten here in this part of um, Uganda. Here, it was surrounded by Matoki plantation. It's the there's a couple. This is the, I'm not very good at my, my bananas, but I think actually these are sweet bananas. And then Matoki are the ones with the really dark stems. So in the distance, you might be able to see one. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on one. That one there. I'll give up. I'm not, I'm not about bananas. <laughs> I'll find out and hit the neck. Oh, there's one in the distance, I think. Let me zoom in. Just there, in the, in the, in the foreground. Uh, anyway. Right, bananas. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's the Matoki. This one's empty, actually, because it's been... That was full on the weekend. They've obviously added that in. So yesterday, must have added some. And then this is the sort of more the, the market way. So that's what I can see in the jackfruit. I can see watermelon. Um, I can see pineapple uh, and a bit of bananas, some, some leaves, things like that. So that will get mixed in with the, we'll, we'll shred it first with the machine and that gets mixed in. So this needs to be improved. We've only got four containers at the moment um, on this little bay but we, I want to add a lot more because our production is going to increase and you're going to be, if you're doing a good job and you've got a large volume of substrate being collected, then what you're struggling with is normally substrate volumes. So that's one improvement. The second improvement we want to make is around sort of how we're processing the substrate. Um, this is the hammer mill. And you can see, oh, Sam's writing on it. So it's been a bit of a wonk. Let me try to get you level. So that's level when you can see how actually that bit is where we feed the, the substrate in and it should be sort of angled down a bit and it's sort of almost level so it means that you can see how unlevel it is let's get like this yeah, there you go you get a good idea um, and that's just the, the slope here we weren't it wasn't made level of the ground and we'd like to drag we'd like to drag this out there's two reasons one I want it to be level, so I want a level surface here, so that we can shred, and then it much, the process of actually shredding is much easier because it's going down into the hop, into the into the, the revolving drum, as opposed to sort of just staying there. And then two, uh, when you're shredding, of course, it's a bit messy. You can see sort of the that hammer mill's not looking very, it's a bit grubby. Um, so you don't want any substrate in the bays because that attracts rodents and chickens and all sorts of things so it's better to have it out here on a con nice concrete slab once you finish shredding you can wash it down um, we'll have a uh, we'll collect the water um, from that and then that water can be used to irrigate your crops just because it's a bit of organic matter just keeps it nice and clean um, we also need to to do that we need to improve the electrics I mentioned the other day about how the power supply here who is tripping that end so we want to imp up, improve that junction box and just improve on the hammer mill and then the third big improvement that we're going to do is to do with this this is the frass so we've got bags of it here um, and it's, um, it's I mean this is great stuff let me just give it a sniff so it smells fantastic it smells like really good soil um, this is very nutritious and very very good you can see more bags of it it's going to be a bit drier I think yeah, but it's actually 
getting a bit wet here because we are not protected from the from the elements. Um, the stuff on the top is dry, but the stuff underneath is a little bit clay-like. Uh, we don't really want that for our customers. You want it to be in the best condition possible. So we don't, and we don't have a storage area. That's what I'm trying to say. So what we're going to do is um, use some funding just to build a simple storage area. I'm not quite sure where yet. Um, we don't have a huge amount of space here, as you can see the boundary. Um, but we do need to put some storage, maybe over there. Uh, we build a nice little storage area, simple, very simple, with a with a protective roof um, over the top of that, um, and then we'll use that just to help us uh, in terms of protecting the frass. And then the frass, we can turn it, and then we've we've got plans for another thing that we're going to do. So you can see here what the plan that we want to do in a sense. So this is just a bag. I don't even know what this is. This is Ungus. Uh, giving some advertising for whoever these people is. I think this might be for, what is it? I think it's probably some sort of maize brand. Oh, here you go, this is wheat, wheat flour. So I think what we wanna do with uh, with our frass is basically make a, a sort of start to package it. So we might do, 50, this is a good 50 kilo bag. Maybe we do a smaller bag, 10 kilos or something. And then we package up the frass. We have our logo on it. We say what it is. We put on the back what it's used for, and then something like this where it talks about the composition of what's inside. Um, I want to get it, send it off to a lab, and then analyze it for the NKP, so the nitrogen, the phosphor, um, phosphorus, and pota um, potassium. I've just drawn a blank. <laughs> but anyway, so when you're, because it's fertilizer, so whatever it, you know, all the components that you need for good fertilizer. That's what I want in, on on the back, so that farmers can see. Oh, this is this is a. This has been a lab tested product. This is what's in this product. Um, and this is what I'm gonna use. And I think that sort of level of just raising up the sophistication of the frass will help us in, in trying to get um, some sales of frass. Um, and it'll also be useful for when we start to resell maggots in bulk to farmers, what they're getting left is frass. And then we can tell them this is the nutritional content that we got in our frass. Um, it'll obviously be different depending on what you feed your maggots but at least it's some help to farmers to know so that's sort of the fourth thing um, and then just a fifth thing would just be little things like just improving the area um, just a few bits a few repairs inside some just a few holes with um, sheeting a few bits a bit more bits of equipment that type of thing um, that's generally what we're going to try and do um, hi this is Andrew hi Andrew are you okay um, Andrew's just, he's, I was mentioning he's the other gentleman who helps us, uh, just started really. Well, he, actually he's been around as a contractor, but we're going to probably formalise his employment. There you go, there's another improvement. So things like that, those small costs that we've got, um, some security, cameras, lights, um, just to improve the place. So that's the other thing that we're going to be getting with the GA funding that will really help with the BSF. So those three-wheeled um, bodders, so we can use those to transport the substrate um, and get to go to fish farm sites, uh, buy fish, sell fish, move fish, all those things. It'd be very helpful if we have um, those three-wheeled bodders. So, um, there it goes up the hill, so we're looking forward to that. And then more generally, um, the, so that's, that's, the, that's what we're going to be using the funding for. Um, there'll be some other things I'm sure that will come along, uh, but that's what we've costed in. But we will also need to improve on our practices in terms of BSF. So I was just talking, we actually hatch the BSF inside, um, inside the house behind me, but we want to uh, just sort of tidy it up a bit and get a better, better hatching, um, check the temperature for that. Um, and then I think the hatch rate that we're getting, the collection process isn't, isn't um, working that well so the survival rate of the eggs some of that I think is down to temperature so one thing in this polytunnel I was there the other day uh, and it was about 40 degrees which is really too it's too hot so there's a couple of things you can do one it was fairly dry because it hadn't rained um, so you need to be adding water to the ground that evaporates and then cools down inside um, adds a bit of humidity which is also good so then the eggs that have been hatched at that on that day those eggs aren't drying out because it's a bit more humid 
Um, the temperature is a bit lower because you've added water and it's evaporated and cooled down. Um, and the other thing is you need to make sure you're collecting them even over the weekend. So they get laid, you collect the eggs and then you're storing them ready for their hatching in about five days uh, in a better condition so they're not um, sort of cooking as it were. So that, those are the improvements that we're going to be making in the next few weeks. Uh, and months. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and s maybe some of those things will uh, spark it for you. Think, oh yes, I could, sh I should be doing that with my production and that will improve. Um, I'm just sat by these old stumps uh, that we dug out. There's about three or the four of them I can count. And um, they're huge. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of work going into it. I think, so I think Andrew's, for instance, who's contracted to, to remove some of them. And there's this beautiful tree behind me. Um, that I can lean on. I really like this and then there's um, down here there's some uh, sh hedge coming along as well so nice nice place and it's looking very very good um, and very beautiful you know as you know me I love nature so I love seeing the, the progress that's being made um, with, with nature just things growing up I, lo I love that but thank you very much for watching um, do like and subscribe uh, I hope you um, stay with us and uh, we'll join we'll see you on the next video